that told me a lot about this agency and the success they were having with their experience coming over and it, it really felt like a, a good fit for me and it's a really really good environment to work in we're gonna try and get up uh, here the chief patrols quite frequently the city and uh, we had an out of area pursuit that was last seen in the direction of our city and the chiefs picking it up he's requesting uh, units in the area and uh, we're gonna tr get this guy in custody here there we go Okay, well, we're going to get in behind these units. We're northbound. I've got a uh, unit coming up behind me. X-ray 16, taking the pursuit. X-ray 16, taking over northbound, southbound McKinley. Affirmed on the plate, northbound, town, passing. He's blowing the red light just after I-10. Affirmed on the plate, northbound, southbound McKinley. Affirmed on the plate, northbound, southbound McKinley. He's blowing the red light just at IS-10. Continuing north from IS-10. And he's slowing for the light at Laverne. And Bose Light at Laverne, we're continuing. Speeds are 40 now. now. We believe that this guy was wanted for some type of traffic violation. It's unknown at this time. Our dispatch is trying to find out from the pursuing units what we had. And 16, we're going to be headed southbound now, San Antonio. Southbound San Antonio for me. He's signaling to go up here on Washington. And we're southbound Washington. He's gonna run. He's gonna be southbound on the reservoir heading down the hole. Southbound reservoir from Kingsley heading towards Hole. Are you injured in any way? You're back in your legs? All right, we had to get you away from the car. We wanted to make sure it wasn't going to explode or anything, all right? All right. Are you hurt anywhere else besides your, your arms? Okay. Don't worry about that. Is he hurt? Is he hurt? Yeah, he's not. He's 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 awake, but he's not really a responsive. Okay. At the termination of the pursuit, we had the suspect fleeing. He blew the red light here on Indian Hill and in Lincoln. He attempted an invasive maneuver to avoid making a contact with this taxi cab, but as you can tell, he clipped the back half of the taxi cab, causing him to spin around and make contact with this light pole. We have officers talking to that victim now. He seems to be uh, conscious, although injured. We're waiting for our emergency services to come in here and treat him. And as you can see, at the termination of most of these pursuits, this is what we've got. People are hurt because uh, the felons have no regard for public safety. Where do you live at? I'm homeless, sir. Who's that? It's a G-Ride. It's a G-Ride? Found it in the street. You found it in the street. What do you got, Chief? Well. <laughs> We've got a parolee, commercial burglar parolee, who's got a uh, G-Ride stolen vehicle. And, uh, you know, you heard the call. Where yes, sir. Lisa put it out. I saw him as he was going southbound on Gary Avenue. And uh, you know, one of the first things he tried to do was black out. And then, fortunately, you know, he crashed right into that uh, taxi cab. Driver. 
So just to further demonstrate the, the impact forces involved with the collision, you see how far this pole has penetrated the back of this taxi cab. You're talking about 4,000, 5,000 pounds worth of American iron here, almost split in half by a power pole. A gentleman's on parole driving a stolen vehicle, fleeing, trying to, to get away. Uh, as you can see, fire is trying to extricate uh, this victim because of the severity of the collision. It's, it's just really unfortunate that you have to see this stuff. Uh, this is a hardworking guy uh, at work trying to earn a living for his family, and he, now uh, his life is interrupted by the actions of, of one individual who just can't seem to follow the rules. What started the, what, what started the chase? It was Azusa had lost him, but oh, the Azusa airship had stuck with him and gave him the last direction of travel. Chief comes in, starts the broadcast, and we picked him up. Chief got out of the way, and I, I began the pursuit. CCC, you want me to move it, or you want to I'll get it. I got it. Thanks, Chief. Well done. Huh? How's he doing? The victim. Uh, no, I was uh, giving repetitive uh, questioning a while ago. Okay. And I know he was KO'd for a couple of minutes. Okay. When uh, your boys arrived. He's alert now. Okay. Well, fire saying he's alert and talking now. They're actually not sure at the extent of his injuries at this time, but he is alert, he is talking, and he is asking the fire department questions. So it looks like, at least for now, he's looking pretty good until they assess any internal injuries that he may or may not have. What happened when you contacted the suspect? While I was talking to him, he told me his name, admitted he was on parole for uh, commercial burglary. While he was there, while he was talking about that, we were asking why he was running. He did tell us that it was a, it was a G ride, I mean, it was a stolen car. Went ahead, ran him through, no driver's license and a stolen car. Trying Sounds to get like away a... from the police. We're in the downtown business district of Lansing. This is the capital of Michigan. This area has grown a lot. There's a lot of new businesses that have moved into the area here, bringing a lot of uh, people to the downtown area. Uh, there's been a lot of changes made down here in the last few years. It's really grown a lot. It's, it's really nice. Uh, I'm going to check the park up here. Um, this is a pretty nice neighborhood. We've got the hospital over here. There's a lot of foot traffic in the area. So I like to check the parks. A lot of people pull in here after dark and drink and do drugs and other illegal activities. So we're just going to drive through here and check to see if there's anybody in the park. There's not supposed to be anybody in the park after dark, so we're going to see what they're doing out here. Frank 84, I'll be checking to in Washington Park. Frank 84, okay. Just so you know, you can't be in the park after dark. Oh, okay, we didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, that's why I come out here and make contact with people and let them know. Okay. You folks have some idea on you? No, yeah. I don't. You don't have any idea on you, sir? Sir, can I get your name? Calvin. Thank you. With a C? Yeah. Calvin, what's your middle name? I don't have any. What's your last name? Um, Spell it. D L. D L. Yeah. O F L. How old are you? Fifty-eight. What year did you graduate? Uh, in seven. Seventy-three. Okay. You don't have anything that's got your name on it. This the passenger here doesn't have any ID, and he gave an odd spelling for his name. He couldn't remember how old he was, and he couldn't recall the year he graduated. So I'm not sure if he's giving me good information or not, but we got him in the system to see if he's going to come back. Ma'am, is this your vehicle? Yeah. Do you have the paperwork for it? They can't come back with anything on the, the computer, so I just want to check yeah. to make sure everything's... Who's Tommy? That's my husband. Oh, okay. His name is in mine. Okay. How come you said the 58th the first time? Because I've been blood, I've been drinking, and when you called, you threw me off when you said that's my age, the birthday. She can ID me. Yeah. That's all that is. Okay. I'm gonna have you step out of the car for no, me real quick, okay? We oh. roll through the parking lot. Step out and face that way. Face that way for me. I have none. I step. I do. Okay. I ain't got none. Yeah. Put your hands right behind your back. Can you relax your hands a little bit? Yeah, I can relax. Okay, there you go. No, he wasn't even with me. No. Yeah. Can you tell me what I'm going for? Well, at this point, I'm not even sure who you are, but the first date of birth you gave me said 58. Most people know what year they're born. Oh, so you think I'm screwed up on everything up on my name? No, I don't know who you are. 
Okay, I have no idea. We've never met each other before, have we? True that. Okay. But you know who I am because I'm standing here in uniform. No, I don't see your name. I see okay. your officer. I do not know your okay. name. Well, you know, I'm a police officer. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. You know who I am. I have no idea who you are. I'm trying to validate who you are. When I ask you your name and ID and what your date of birth is, I expect the correct information at that time. So for right now, I'm going to have you have a seat in this car over here. Yeah. Although we found some stuff in the shoes on the last one, so. What are you guys doing out here? Actually, I was driving down Washington. I was going to Popeye's to get something to eat. He works with me. Seen him on the side of the road. Picked him up. Asked him if he wanted to ride. And I was going to go drive around through the parking lot, smoke a cigarette, and go ahead and drop him back off before his old lady got out of work because we work together. Does your husband know you're out here? No. Okay. How would he, he knows I was going to Popeye's. Okay. How would he feel knowing that you're in a park with another oh man? Oh my God. Not happy, huh? Okay. No. Is there anything illegal we'll in this vehicle? Probably get divorced. <laughs> No, sweetie, nothing. Okay. I'm going to have you step out. I'm going to take a okay, look real quick, okay? you can check everything. Yep, just leave everything in here, okay? Okay. Well, she's married. He uh, gave me a name, different date of birth, and ran him through lane. He had a warrant. And she uh, gave me the registration of the vehicle. I asked whose vehicle it was. She said her husband. So, obviously, that doesn't look very good. She said mm -hmm. that her husband didn't know that she was here with mm -hmm. him. So, that didn't look very good on her behalf. So, um, he was arrested for the, for the warrant, and false information and she's got some explaining to do when she gets well, home so apparently hope he didn't find out about yeah, it. her husband's out looking for her right now according to her so Ronald yes, well thank you for coming out here so quickly for us I know this is probably I'm only two miles out right. it's okay. got to be this got to be awkward for you it's awkward for me uh -huh. it's probably awkward for you coming to pick up your daughter who's uh -huh. down here in a park with another man other than her husband so I don't know how you feel about that but I, I don't like it yeah her and I have been married 47 years and I don't believe in it right Oh, Mom, I'm sorry to have you come down here, and I apologize. That was a bad thing for me to do. What is your concern right now? Mine? Yes. That I'm going to be divorced and that I shouldn't probably ever drink again while I'm driving? Right. Or ever again. Yeah. Period. Period. Or coming to the park with... Right. Men? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully you've learned something from this experience. Yeah, I have. Okay. Well, good luck to you, okay? Thank you. Okay, well, she's going to be on her way. Her parents came down here and bailed her out. They're going to give her a ride home. So her friend is going to go to jail. He's got a warrant, and uh, he provided some false information, I'm sure, trying to um, cover up the fact that he had a warrant. So we're going to run him downtown to get that taken care of. And then hopefully he'll be on his way home to his significant other. If you're uh, new to Vegas, obviously the Strip has a, a lot of uh, entertainment opportunities. But uh, the city itself is a great city to live in, as far as I'm concerned. I would describe Vegas as a normal city for the majority of people who live here. I think there's a misconception that it is Sin City, and people are obviously caught up in what they see uh, on TV, but I wouldn't describe Vegas that way at all. We're going to stop this guy up here for walking in the street. Uh, the sidewalk's there, and he's just walking in the street, so we'll talk to him. What's up, man? Stand in front of the car, please. Stand in front of the car, please. Keep your hands out of your pockets. How you doing tonight? What's your name? Gary. Where do you live? Nowhere right now. Nowhere? Okay. Gary, what's your, uh, how old are you? How old am I? 50. Yeah. What's your date of birth? 57. What? 57. That wouldn't make you 50. Yeah, I'm 50. 51, uh, as a matter of fact. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. I know the routine. All right. You've been convicted of any felonies? Yeah, gaming. Gaming stuff? Yes, sir. Gaming? Yes, like, sir. Like what? Cheating and gambling. Yeah. What were you doing? Huh? What were you doing? Stringing. Yeah? yeah. Stringing a quarter. One of the oldest cheats. You know, you use tape and yeah. You drop I, it down, pull it back, so it's I giving you credits. Yeah. It's giving I, you credits. Yeah. Right. It's you play like, all night. Right. You're just and playing it, a mission. Now, were you winning? Eventually, it's, it's you inevitable, have right? You machine. You're guaranteed to win. Right. But yeah. this was back, you know, in the 90s. Yeah, I, you know, no way I, you could do it now. Huh? I did the whole 90s in prison. Yeah. Before. All right. You don't have any problem with me looking in your pockets? Pardon me? You have no. any problem with me looking in your pockets? Okay. You do me a favor, put out your cigarette? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. What? I'm going to be straight up with you sometime. Okay. okay. This is don't my run wallet. Hold on. Here. And this don't. wallet I just found at the bus stop. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Okay. This is mine here. Okay. 
Okay. Don't reach your hand. I didn't in your steal it or nothing. Okay. okay. I just Listen. Want you to know that. This is the one you found. Yeah. That's that you were going to return. Yeah. Right, because you're concerned. Sure. I believe in karma. I hear you. I haven't touched nothing. Yet. Well, you think he just left it on the uh, bus bench there, or what? Yeah, that's exactly where it was, sitting right on the bench. That really? must have got up and just... Just abandoned like that. How does that work? Regardless of the story I tell you, can you take me to jail just for the possession of that? No. Right on, man. I would have felt so stupid, man. You know, I, um, all my life I always thought karma as a myth. In the last five years, I really believe in it strongly, man. You do good, good things to people, and good things happen, man. I really believe in it, really strongly, man. I don't right. do nothing bad to nobody, man. All right, but there was no cash in it, huh? I didn't buy it. It was about fourteen dollars in there. Right. How much money do you have in your pocket? I had my own money. That—that's just being honest for me to you. Okay, so there was fourteen dollars okay. that. Yeah. That you have in your pocket yeah. now. Okay. That's would it. Like, would you like me to return it? Well, I think it would probably be best. Yes. Okay. You want me to grab it? Sure. I figured the guy would probably give that to me anyway right. when I return it. You're going to give him his wallet back, but you're just going to charge him like a $14 service fee? No. <laughs> I'm on this. I hear you, man. No, I hear you. I seriously believe. Just tell him, man. Hey, man, it was a $14 service fee. I found your wallet. You know what I mean? Okay. Here's the deal. You have somewhat of a history of stealing based on what you told me? No, just, just, uh, just a game. That's it. Just a game. I've never done any kind of stealing. Uh, that's essentially that's stealing, right? Yeah, sure it is. So. Okay. But I, I believe, my personal belief is the casinos legally steal from us. All right, man. Well, let me have... let me see what we can do here. All right. All right. Sit tight. <laughs> and you can contact uh, Metro Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. And they'll give you all the uh, details to retrieve your wallet and and uh, ID and credit cards. Thank you. I hate to break it to you, but you're 49. <laughs> Are you serious? I've gone through such a mental trip in this. Hey, how's it going? Daryl? Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Um, hey, uh, when you were... Uh, at the bar, did you um, did you ha have any idea who may have pickpocketed you? A little bit. I uh, thought that maybe the person that was next to me, maybe. What did he look like? Oh, uh, it was actually a she. A she. Okay. Yeah. Was she? Did she look like she was working with anybody? Uh, a little bit, just a little bit suspicious, but nothing. It's it's up to you if you want to press charges. I mean, I, I don't know if your main concern is just getting your wallet back. It's totally up to you uh, if you well, want to. Most important. Okay. Definitely. So, I mean, if you, I mean, because if you were to pursue charges, I'm just being completely honest with you, if you were to pursue charges, you would be asked, obviously, to come back, you know, for the court dates and um, testify, okay. you know. Right. And that's up to you. I mean, if you just want to get your wallet back, that's, uh, yeah, you know. The wall is okay, that's cool. Okay. That's totally basically up to you. The most important. So okay, right on. Home. Let me get your stuff. And uh, no, this guy's going to go to jail anyway. He's got a warrant. No, I so. appreciate it. Thanks for your help. No that's problem, man. No problem at all. So, Gary. You're not going to go to jail for taking his wallet, okay? You do have a warrant. It's pedestrian in the roadway. Huh? Yeah, I didn't steal nothing. Where do you, tell me the truth, man. You're not being. You, there's no charges filed for it. I don't care if there is, because I didn't steal his wallet, man. Okay. All right. Well, you're in possession of it. You understand that that's uh, yeah. in itself is a crime, right? And I understand you could charge me. Okay. That, and I All right. I appreciate you not doing that. All right. Well, I, I do know you that. should thank him. Here's the good news, man. The good news is you're only 49. Here this whole time you thought you were 50. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wish somebody would wake me up tomorrow and tell me I was only 25. You know what I mean? Sorts of ethnic backgrounds there. So you have to kind of get used to dealing with different types of people. Um, it's a really busy area. So you got to, I mean, you continually, continually working. And I've loved every minute that I've been there.
Independence Police Department right now is in pursuit of a homicide suspect uh, over on the border of where our two cities meet. We're trying to get in the area right now, meet up and help them out with the uh, with the pursuit. We're involved in this the start. Just to make sure your officers know he is absolutely armed. You're good, you're good. I gotta wait for you. We are secondary. I'm gonna I'm gonna start calling it. Uh, right now, one of our officers is in pursuit of a, a vehicle pursuit of a homicide suspect. We're the secondary vehicle right now. Fifteen A, we're secondary. We'll call it. We're still eastbound on Truman. Uh, he's driving an oncoming lane. Speeds are about 40 miles an hour crossing Winchester right now. Deep breaths. Okay, he's pulling into the Quick Trip parking lot, Truman and Ewing. Uh, LK's going through, coming back to Ewing. Del, he just hit a car, he's been involved at the pumps. We're gonna need multiple. Sorry, sorry, we're gonna need a couple. Of I actually, hey, hey. somebody hey. check on. <laughs> Kenneth, Kenneth, wake up! Wake up! He's not responding, but we still we got a pulse. We got a pulse. We got our suspect here. We got another party that was in the car with him. He tried to cut through the parking lot. Couldn't control the car and hit somebody that was pumping gas. Um, it doesn't look like there's any other injuries other than this right here and then his passenger. This is our second suspect here. Doesn't look like he's injured at the time. He is in custody. So we got both parties that were in the vehicle in custody. Yeah, that's Kenneth there. He was the one driving. This guy here was in the passenger seat with him. I just saw you blink. Open your eyes up. If you're hurt, you need to tell us that you're hurt. Don't sit there and, and play with us. Kenneth. Hey. Wake up. He's beating strong. He's just playing. He's just playing possum with us. We'll play, we'll play the game. That's fine. Well, we got the the paramedics are here on scene. They're going to tend to both suspects. They're going to tend to the lady that was pumping her gas that got knocked out of the way due to the impact cars. Um, we've got multiple people here from Clay County, from Independence, uh, our career criminal unit. Everybody who was looking for him and involved in the pursuit is here. So it's just a matter of determining who's going to take over from here on this party. Right now he's on his way to one of the local hospitals uh, where he'll receive medical treatment. Um, an officer is going to be accompanying him to the hospital and be staying with him until he's released. Once he's released, he's going to be taken to jail where the detectives will talk to him. Uh, and eventually he'll probably be charged with a homicide. Ron, for her? I know three for sure that I've seen her. For sure, I can yes. find out for you. Three for three. sure. Is that including the suspect? Yes. Okay. But right now, just from looking, you don't have to No. Kenneth, Kenneth hasn't said anything. He's fake. Fire thinks he's faking. They tried to 
pull his eyelid down and he's forcefully holding his eyes closed because they were warning us. They were like, hey guys, he's not letting us open his eyes, so be ready when you take the cuffs off. We're all here, man. Now, this gentleman over here is the captain from Clay County that's heading the, the, the okay. thing. Okay, and this so. is the guy that we just had, I just had a bullet on, right? Yes. Yeah. I cannot... Sure, okay. Is, is that person in custody? Yeah, yeah. Was he came, person he came, hurt? He, he the hospital? He's going to the hospital. Um, he wasn't talk. He was unresponsive. He was unresponsive. Yeah, they sent two officers down. Very he was unresponsive at the time, but fired told us that he was forcefully holding his eyes closed. All right, thanks. At this point, suspect's been taken to the hospital um, with officers that are going to sit on him. So he's going to be. He actually has a warrant for his arrest right now for the homicide out of Randolph. Um, it ended up good for us. No, no severe injuries. Nobody got seriously hurt and uh, the bad guy's gonna go to jail. The people that we deal with don't always tell us the truth. So we have little tactics that we use. We try to get them locked into a story and then kind of punch holes in their story to get the truth. Sometimes a lot of the people, it takes quite a long time to get them to actually uh, tell the truth. But uh, I think it depends on the officer, you know, his gift of gab. We're en route to go back, uh, some patrol officers on a domestic violence uh, case. They responded earlier today. They gave the lady a break. Uh, the second time we went out, she fled on foot. So we're going to try to locate her and see if we can't uh, help them get her into custody on this time. What's up? She's in the backyard right now, and uh, she's waiting with the hose and stuff. So. She's waiting what with the hose? She's waiting to uh, Melford, the guy that lives there. OK. Did you copy on the second one? Where's she at? She went that way. She's wearing a striped shirt with blue just heavy set, and he's bleeding. He's, he's bleeding? Him. Have him come out. And he's, she stabbed us. She and stabbed him? Yeah. You try to hold up. Hey. Looks like it's going to be a 245. She stabbed him. This guy right here. Hold on, hold on. Get over here. Turn around. Place your fingers behind your head. Get on your knees. Put your hand behind your back. Come home. Oh, Put your man, I've got every whore in the town in the, my house. Okay, come on. You Where's your shoes at? Well, they didn't let me have them when I left. So who's the guy that got cut? Well, he's the one that was slinging the axe at me. Okay. But I've been staying in Crestline because the whores are here. Because the whores are here? Yeah, and they're all on dope. I'm not on dope. I'm clean. I've been working. i got a good job. I want my old man back. I want him off of dope. Get him help. Okay. Okay? That's all it is. I'm not the criminal. Just relax. I will. <clears throat> I'm going to figure this out. Please. Copy. You're clear hey, sir. Me. Where are you injured at? Uh, it's okay. It's just let me see it real quick. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Just to make sure. It, it, it's, it's nothing. I know. It's I know. Nothing. I'm gonna have. Uh, it's nothing. We needed to get pictures anyway. It's nothing. Don't hey, charge her with this. What is that from? She had a knife. She had a knife. Yes. Okay. Does she cut you with it or? What's the fight? Is she your girlfriend, wife? What? She used to be. She used to live here with me. And she came back today, and we tried to get back. We tried to get back together, and uh, a guy came in the room, and she got upset, and then she just she just went crazy. She went crazy. What was she doing? <sighs> you didn't see what she did. She broke out those windows right there. She what was she? Why were you with the hose? What, what's that all about? To disrespect me, I guess. I, I don't know. She hit you in the mouth. Go ahead. Huh? No? Yeah. Is, your, is your lip swollen? A little, bit. A little bit. You have any other end in you at all? Let me see. Let me see your arms like this. Just that one. Let me see. Turn around. Let me see that abrasion. What? What's that from? Hammer. She hit you with a hammer? Where's that at? Let's go. Let's go see it. Hey, do you need paramedics here to check you out at least? I mean, that looks like a pretty. Uh... Where's the hammer at? Oh, that one. This plastic one. That's what she broke the windows out with. Oh, this big one. She hit you with this? Wow. Hey, Robert, turn off the water. Hey, are you sure your your leg's not broke, your hip or anything? No, I'm okay. She hit you pretty good with that, huh? Okay. Where's the knife at so I can have it? I, I, don't, I don't know. You don't know where she did. she did with it? I don't know where she did with it. 
Okay. Well, she really did a number. You don't want to press charges on her or anything like that? Okay, just hang out right here for a second. Let me go talk to her, find out what's going on, and then uh, and we'll see what we can do, okay? Tell them what happened, ma'am. I was in the bedroom making love with my man. We were butt-ass naked, and that black guy across the street walked in unannounced and thought it was okay. My man got didn't right. handle it. He walked outside and told her, yelled at him, but he didn't tell him to, 11, go ahead. to, to, to get the f out, to, 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 you know. Not. Who made you go off in a rage? I didn't go off in a rage. I sat in the bedroom. Oh man, he's on dope. He don't listen. He don't listen. He's all so stupid. You, so you guys were in the room. He didn't kick his ass. No, but what were you guys doing? Again? Disrespecting him. He should have handled it like a man. When the black guy came in. You bet. Is, is, is that true, sir? You, the yes. Guy, the guy walked in when you guys were having sex and. I had my clothes on. You know, no, we you got dressed around. afterwards. I had my clothes on. You're so stupid. I'm dumb. Yeah, no, don't you remember? Go ahead. I had my clothes on. You didn't on. have your clothes yeah, on. Yeah. on. So I, then I, you I, kicked I, my ass. And you told me I was a tramp because you didn't ass. handle it. I, I, I did. Mad. You tried to make me hit you, but I didn't. I didn't try to make you hit you. I never would you hit me. Stay by the car right now. You're not nothing for me to right hit. There. I don't right want to hit, man. Yeah. I'm not stupid. I love you. Honey, I love you too. Why did you do this? Why did you kick his ass? I tried to stop you. So how did how did you end up cutting? Lean up against the car. Lean over here. He's telling me that I'm a trail. I don't know when I love you. You didn't do your job. Yes, I did. I did. Don't ever come in my room and knock without knocking. Choking me. Tell me. I listen, honey. I told you, you ain't gonna tell me what. To, just because you want me to whip his ass, that well, why I ain't you? gonna do. I ain't gonna do he what you tell no me to do. He has no respect. Well, I told respect. I told him you don't have knock to have respect. Door. I don't care. I who told you him knock on the door. Rich, poor, black, purple. You what gotta is? have respect. You have no respect. You're so stupid, Mel. Get off a of dope. He don't have a clue what day it is. Have a seat, ma'am. So stupid, he can't pay rent. That's why everybody's here. Okay. To pay rent. Nobody, sit down. Sit down. Nobody pays rent. They're all. That's why I stole a car in the jar. You gotta check it out. Okay, I will. He just had one the other day. All right. And that's a fact. He needs to get clean off a of dope. Dope is the devil. Okay. Well, we'll get him better. Hey, listen. You're gonna be going to jail today for assault with a deadly weapon and domestic violence. My partner's name is Leo. It's an eight-year-old German Shepherd. We started working together, gosh, 2002, so it's been five years now. And kind of a unique partner. He doesn't mind listening to my problems, never complains. He'd work 24-7 if he could, and uh, never calls in sick. And definitely gets people to voluntarily comply with our requests out here on the street. K97, we're going to attempt to stop a vehicle that just hit the center concrete median. He's all over the road and appears he might be a DUI driver. Just observe this vehicle here come up on the concrete median and swerve back into its lane. Might be a DUI driver. I'm going to try to pull it over. K970 is not pulling over yet. I won't call it a pursuit. Just pause DUI at this point. He is all over the road in the opposing lanes and we're approaching Interstate 80 now. Sam Long, good night, seven. If you're good with Pitt, uh, have Alpha 18 move up and do Pitt. Are you all right with that?
Open the door. the sidewalk. Do you remember hitting the center uh, medium back there, the island? Which one? Back there at San Juan and Northgate. Yeah, you ran into the concrete. You were driving no lights on. You hit the concrete median there. Uh, I don't then, the... Did you hear the lights and uh, see the lights, hear the sirens? Do you see us oh, behind oh, you oh, trying yeah, to stop yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Why didn't yeah, you pull yeah. over? Yeah, because uh, I made a mistake. Yeah. You made a mistake? I'm very sorry. Okay. Have you been drinking tonight? Uh, I think I was a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm very sorry. How much you been drinking? Uh, All right. Yeah, I'm very sorry. Okay, take a deep breath. Go ahead and blow. Yeah. Deep breath. Mas fuerte. Mas, 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 mas. Bueno. I don't have a gun for killing nobody. You guys too much. What's wrong, man? Nothing. How come you're upset? I mean, I mean I, this is like in a good I mood. Mean, I, yeah. Are you upset with us? No, it's because... You know we probably it, saved it, somebody's it, life by no, stopping no, it, you? It's because, it's because I'm nice and you guys came like a 15, 20 people. I don't, I don't, I'm a criminal. Do you realize how you were driving coming down Northgate? No, no more way. Okay, like ready? I'm sorry for, for not, nah, sometimes for... Approximately... Nah, everybody. Three times. A little over three times the legal limit. You're dangerous, man. I know, I know. You've had too much drink to be driving tonight. I understand. That's what I say. I'm sorry. Have you been arrested for DUI before? Uh, 1991. 1991. How much have you been drinking tonight, sir? Six pack more. I'm sorry? Maybe more than six pack. A six pack? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I can appreciate that you're sorry. I'm just glad you didn't hit or kill somebody. Do you realize up here when we cross North Market that you crossed on the wrong side of the road? I know, I'm very sorry. Yes. Okay. I understand. I understand I did wrong, you know, because I'm very sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it no more. That's all. What's your evaluation of his condition right now? Okay. On our evaluation on his condition, he was too intoxicated to actually perform FF FSDs in a safe manner. Um, from the time that he exited the vehicle, he nearly stumbled, fell out, is unable to follow directions. We conducted a preliminary alcohol sensor test on it, which is a portable breath machine. On that, he blew a 0.24 and a 0.247 which is approximately three times the legal limit in the state of California to be operating a vehicle. That explains so, why I didn't pull over. Yeah, it explains a lot and probably saved someone's life tonight. Cool. Thanks for your help. All right. Mario, can you lean out here for a minute so I can talk to you? The manner in which you were driving, you crossed over the center line two or three times into opposing traffic. Coming the other way, I had to swerve to get out of your way to avoid being involved in a collision with you. Okay, it's unacceptable, it's dangerous just not worth it. You could have hurt or killed someone tonight. I'm very glad that we stopped you when we did. I'm glad you did pull over. Okay. What's going to happen tonight, you're going to get booked into jail for DUI. You'll end up getting a court date when you need to appear in court down the road to face the charges for what occurred tonight. Okay. Difficult job to have. Yeah, we just went by a guy that uh, last night, there he is. We, uh, I stopped him and right when I saw him, he threw down a little rock of crack cocaine. So we'll see what he's. Forrest, what are you up to, man? Forrest. I'm not doing anything. I know, but you're hanging in a place you shouldn't be hanging. I'm just asking for some change. Put your hand. Put your out. Spit it 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 out. There it is, right there. Got it. It's coming out. Get it all out. Get it all out. Get it all out. Get it all out. 
There's nothing in there, I swear to God. I just suck him out your mouth. You ready? Almost. And don't you know if you eat that stuff, it will make you sick. Why was I? Why was I ran up on in the first place? Because my partner saw you do something that obviously do me what? We didn't. Why you can search? Oh, what are you talking about? Which just fell out of your mouth? What that? What personal use? Personal. I'm out here doing. I'm just getting high like everybody else. Got it. All right, we'll stand down. What's your first name? Juan. Juan? Yes. Let me explain something to you, Juan. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak with the attorney. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, we will be appointed to represent you and no expense to yourself. Do you understand your rights? Yes. What's going on, Juan? Why are you guys standing back there doing a little hand-to-hand? -hand? We didn't do any hand-to-hand. She came up to me and asked me Broadway. how What'd she ask you? She asked me how I was doing. What's her? Yeah, I know. I know her. I've known her for years. So you're saying this is for personal use? Yes. You see, you got money. So you got multiple bindles. Multiple, there's two. That's two, that's more than one. And who knows how many you swallowed? I didn't swallow. I just, I, if I, I already copped, and that's why I put it in case I got arrested. Yeah. Immediately you see me, you go straight to your mouth, start chugging the water. Just thirsty? I got a lot of riding on this. Was this the only two bags in your, in your mouth? Yeah. Did you get any down at all? No. Nothing got swallowed at all? No. You buying or selling? What's that? Selling. Selling? How much have you sold tonight? Huh? How much have you sold tonight? Five, ten pills, what? I haven't sold. I just got down here. You just got down with two pill, two yeah, bags? Just How many did you swallow? Trying try to pay rent. You got a couple down, right? I for your own so. health, for your own yeah. health. I'm serious. How many did you get down? Uh, a couple, but it, it's all right. I've done it before. It, it, you just got, I wrap, I triple wrap them. How much you sell in a week? I don't, I don't. I don't usually sell. I just like like if, if if I'm in a bind, if I gotta pay rent, or if like you know what I mean, like because I have a job, so like that's like what I use to be able to put myself on when I gotta yeah. like turn my money over. So not not all the time, but if if I'm in a, if I'm in a bind and I gotta make an extra buck, you know I'll do what I gotta do. I haven't been down here that much lately though. So probably what do you what are you selling each baggie for? Those are uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars pop. Okay. How much did you make tonight? I, I just got down here. Like, well, I thought you had, you had a pretty so decent I, lot of I cash. Had that. I, I got that. I didn't get that down so. No? No. How long you been doing this? What? Selling. Uh, how long? Uh, since I was a kid, I guess. Yeah? I don't know. How'd you get into that? Uh, I'm from New York, so that's, you know, that's... That's, that's, that's what so, they all do in New York? Yeah. No, that's not what everybody does, but, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know, it's, it's a jungle out there. It's, it's difficult to explain. Do you ever sell whoop? Bunk? Uh, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> well, huh? uh, yeah, before, yeah, to, uh, when I was broke and homeless. Now you just sell the real stuff? No, if 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 if, if I'm in a bind, I'll do what I gotta do. Yeah, that stuff there good? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, answer me this: You sound like a pretty articulate guy, smart. Why are you Why are you doing this? I guess kind of gave up on life. I got graduated from high school and tried to get into the military. But they wouldn't take me because I had this uh, attempted sell. I tried every branch. They wouldn't accept me. So I, I just kind of gave up on life after that. I think you need to kind of rethink things. You know, I'm a loser, is, man. No, you're not. Yeah, you know. I got a record. Nobody's saying that. The only thing I got going for me is a high school diploma. But what's that worth? I mean, I'm, I don't know. I might be able to get for scrapes, but I'd never be able to make a living like you guys have any type of security or anything like that. I, I, you know, I, without I, cutting corners. I don't agree with that. You got to take this as a starting point, okay? Things in the past have been bad, you know, you can start fresh from here. Look into some trade schools, look into some stuff, get a little further education so that you can do something, you know, make a good living, make an honest living, you know what I'm saying? And then you don't have to worry about being down here in the street. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, I'll give you my card if there's something that I can do to help you out, either with your PO or, or whatever. Give me a call. Okay. I thought you just called. But the thing is, is look at you. Okay, you've got potential. A lot of these guys out here don't. They're going to be down here slinging dope the rest of their life. They're down here for, we've seen them down here for nine years now. 
but same, you, guy, same people moping around every night. You got potential. You can go places. And if so, I can do something to help you with that, you know, that's what this job's about. All right, that's cool. You're not going to sleep for the rest of the night. I'm going to put you in the for a second, then I'll let you out, okay? Put back here. Oops. Yeah. Some things never change. Let's go to jail. I was born and raised here in Spokane, and I went to college in Michigan and then to work in the family business. And while doing that, I became a reserve officer because I always had an interest in law enforcement. And you know, a lot of people around here told me I was crazy leaving the family business. And I love coming to work every day because it's something different and it, it's it's fun. We are going to a prowler. A neighbor called in said he saw a white male slinking around the neighborhood. So we're going to go and check it out. Kind of odd this time of day to be prowling cars since it's still daylight. I don't see it. I didn't see which way he went. 43, do you want me to start more units that way? 44. No, 264. There he is right there. Go ahead. All right, David. Can I take someone's place? 41, we'll have them here at Longfellow and Adams. Copy Longfellow and Adams, and 64, you can just rest. Take your hands out of your pockets there. Come here. What's wrong today? Huh? 41, he's running. North Adams. We're running uh, east. Forty-one. We got a helper here that helped us take custody. One block east of there. Good man. You all right? Yeah. Roll over. Roll over. Okay. Turn your head down. Okay. Give me back your arm. Give me your arm. What's going on today? Huh? Do you live around here? Why don't you roll up on your side? Okay. Roll up on your side. You got any ID on you? Huh? Hey, can one of you guys just go get the address here on the street here? You alright? How come you're running for me? Oh my god. How come you're running for me? Huh? Can I sit up? Just hang on, okay? I'm not gonna run Okay, why don't you sit up on your rear end, okay? You already did run. Oh god. Huh? 41, we're in the backyard behind 422. Thanks. Why don't you go ahead and stand up? You want to tell me what you're doing? Why you ran? Huh? Can I stand up? Yeah, go ahead. We're yeah, gonna... You guys going to kick my ass? Uh -uh, no. Okay. Get your leg underneath you. Okay. Do you live around here? Come on. Go ahead. Oh. There you go. We'll go out front here, okay? Where are you at? Are you out back or out front? I'm right here. Okay. Is your car out? Right here. Oh, okay. We'll go put him in there. I don't know who he is yet. He's got ID in his front pocket there. He is all Where's right. My... Are you all right? It's a question. What were you doing back there? He had his hands in his pocket. He wouldn't take it out. And... I'm... Huh? You just drunk or are you... Go ahead, spread your feet. Spread your feet. Your feet. Okay. Where do you live? Right where you guys got me. What's your last name, sir? What's your last name? Yeah. What's your last name? Is your ID in here? There it is. Yeah. All right. Jeremy, you got warrants? Can you can you adjust my glasses, please? Yeah, just a minute. Can I just uh, like? Yeah. Lean against your car. There you go. No, you're gonna have a seat in back of your car there until I figure out what's going on. Okay, go okay. ahead and have a seat in there. This will be good for some warrants. I didn't recognize him. I was like, hey, come here and talk to me. He just starts nonchalantly walking back. 
So I go into the backyard, and as soon as I come around the corner, I hear the fence hit, and I went over the fence, and I didn't see where he went from there. So I don't know if he just swung back right around or. He's uh, he's always good. He's always good for a bunch of warrants. Where's that young man's name? That uh... <laughs> I'll get his name. I'll just make it quick. So you pr you probably went to the wrong address then. Okay. Were you fight? Were you fighting with her or your no. girlfriend? You guys didn't get in a big physical fight there or anything. No. Okay. And you're not hurt. No. Not injured. You okay? Oh, you just been drinking a little bit today. Oh, I already asked you before. Any drugs today, Jeremy, or anything? No. Okay. And you have an order with Don, and you're not supposed to have contact with Don. That's your brother's girlfriend, right? Yeah. And who else? Nobody else. There's nobody else. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and so you just stay and just you left and then kind of got lost or what? Yeah, that's all it was. Okay, and you did you know you had the warrants? Not really. Okay, well, how come you ran then? I guess that's my question. How come you well, ran? Well, I don't know. I just didn't want to go to jail. Okay, well, if you didn't have any warrants and you didn't do anything wrong, why would you think you were going to go to jail? Just, I don't know. Because every time you come in contact with the police, you go to jail. Is that yeah, kind of your theory? Pretty, pretty much, yeah. All right. I guess that's understandable. But today, you have warrants. So one of them's... Who's your PO? Who do you check in with? I'm not sure. You're not? Okay. And then you have a local misdemeanor warrant for, like, telephone harassment. That sounds like a charge from a, from a while ago. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. And you're not injured. I'm going to ask you that again, right? You're okay? All right. Well... I'm giving you a break on the obstructing charge, so which I can load you up on a misdemeanor, but Thank again, you. we didn't go very far. Thanks for not. You're welcome. Thanks for not running that far. <laughs> okay. Yep. We get a lot of help from civilians uh, during the day, so it was nice to see him, those guys chasing after him. That really helped a lot, so I'll send him a good guy letter. Very appreciative of it. We're down in Woodville. It's an area just outside Tallahassee in Leon County. It's a good zone to work in. We get to handle the normal calls, um, burglaries, things like that. But um, we have a lot of opportunities to get um, proactive and go out there and work real hard if you want to. It's coming back to a uh, four-door Mercury, silver in color. I might be different, 28. Just ran the tag on a silver uh, four-door vehicle. Came back uh, stolen out of Palm Beach County. I'm gonna try to get up here and catch up with him. Looks like he's trying to lose me and uh, hide somewhere. Uh, I'm turning into Bell Rose right now. I think uh, she turned. It'd be uh, Capital Circle Woodhaven. 521 foot pursuit. 521. Foot pursuit, Leon. On Woodhaven. That's 10 4. 25 right there. 1033 on 1041 and a foot pursuit on Woodhaven. You have to find that tag, baby. That's it. I'm at the one end of Woodhaven going down a dirt road. We're trailing back eastbound. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! I got him. I got him. Car. Roll over inside. All right. Tuck your legs. I was that whole time. I seen that dog. Money. You guys need to poke me or anything while I'm taking my pocket? Okay, look at me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in court of law. Having these rights in mind, you wish to talk to me now. Okay. 
Y is that your yes or no? Oh, no, I'm good. I don't... You don't want to talk to me? I mean, I got a few questions to ask you because oh, that. Ask, ask. Where'd you get this car at? Right the okay. Well, why, when I pulled up behind you, did you run? Huh? Why did you run when I pulled up behind you? Because why? Huh? I'm here to help people, man. I ain't here to hunt people. Why'd you run when I pulled up? Because you're a police. Did huh? you know that car was stolen? No. You didn't know it was stolen? No. You can run the tag. The paper's in the inside. Okay. Huh? I already ran the tag. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I about to say the paper's in all inside. So wh wh who's your friend that gave you the car? What's that? Huh? Do you not want to talk to me at all? Uh, Look at me. Do you not want to talk to me? But he could get in. Listen, partner, right now, I'm in trouble. You're yeah. in trouble. You're in possession of a stolen vehicle. You're going to go to jail for Grand Theft Auto. Do you understand that? Yeah. So unless you start talking to me. They had a 128. Did you know that car was stolen? I didn't. You didn't know? No, bro. I ain't. Well, who's your, what's your boy's name that lets you borrow it? Hmm? No? Okay. I didn't double lock those yet. Let them, let them cook for a little bit. I'm going to check you again. Um, due to the amount of currency on one subject, um, he may have been wheeling the deal all night, and we don't know just yet. You want to say anything else, man? No, I'm good. Huh? You're good? So you're going to take the ride on this uh, Grand Theft Auto charge, huh? Hmm. Yeah. What's up with all those uh, all the money? Huh? What's up with all the money? That's only four hundred dollars. Probably not even four hundred. What are you doing with all of it? What am I doing with it? Bitch, I got a job. I work, so. I don't Why are you care. driving a stolen vehicle around there? I ain't not get it stolen. All right, man. They'll take Kool-Aid packets and open them up, and uh, usually usually using steam, open them up, and then put drugs inside of them and reseal them. That way it conceals the drugs and looks like it's just Kool-Aid packets instead. Got there? A little uh, portable scale. Well, that's nice. I'm good with mine. Where'd you find that? Uh, right in the uh, circle. Okay. Right underneath your chicken sandwiches. Let's go ask him about this thing. What you doing with this? Huh? You know what that is? Yeah, it's good. What are you doing with the scale? Where's the dope, man? Man, he had a Dope. You didn't dump any dope back there? Go back there, take your dog back there and everything. Do whatever you want to. I know I ain't had no dope on me. So you can go back there with your dog. Oh, the only reason I came out the bushes because the dog scared me. I know them dogs bite. So yeah, they do. Yeah, I know. So that's why I gave up. So um, I, ain't, I know I ain't had no dope on me. I just had money on me. Well, what you doing with the scale and all the money? Dog, I had... $400 on me. Okay, okay, what's up with the Kool-Aid packs? I was making Kool-Aid, and I know you see some movies too. Go home and watch movies and drink some Kool-Aid. It's hot back here, man. All right, we'll get the AC turned up there for you, okay? Um, it, it, it is a numbers game. You run you run a tag and uh, could come back a hit stolen vehicle or could be just a normal tag. You just never know. So um, it's good to get behind those vehicles and just you know double check, make sure everything checks out okay with the vehicle. So he'll be going to jail for uh, Grand Theft Auto and uh, the people will be getting their vehicle back in one piece and looks to be in pretty good condition. It worked out good, man. It worked out good. Good job. Something you would think a normal person would do and we catch him every time. We're going to an area where there's a lot of drug activity and gang activity and violence, so we're going to go see what's going on down here tonight. There's been a lot of shootings down here and uh, we have calls down here every night. All right. There's a guy in a truck right there. We're going to go and see what he's doing. Shouldn't be anybody in any vehicles here. Go ahead and check him out find what he's doing here. 7 Animal Open, 425B occupied. It's going to be related. Suspicious vehicles occupied. There's usually a vehicle occupied here at this time of night. Let's going to see what he's doing here. Don't, don't open the door. Okay. Close the door right now. Roll the window down. Okay, well, oh, keep your put your hands on the steering wheel. Okay. You don't jump out of a car anytime. Yes, sir. Put yeah. your right hand on the steering wheel. Yes, sir. Give me your license. Yes, sir. What are you yes, doing sir. sitting out here, sir? I'm looking for, I was going to talk to a guy about doing some uh, work, for, uh, uh, cement work for my grandma's uh, driveway. You got that's, anything? That's the bottom line, yeah. 
Got anything illegal in the truck? Uh, no, sir. Keep your hands on the steering yes, wheel. Yes, sir. You ever been arrested before? Uh, a long time ago on a DUI, but anything I don't else? drink. I, I, I'm, I'm Ill, I have no, uh, I have no gun. I have nothing. My okay. record's fine. You're talking an awful lot, sir. Oh, you oh, you well, sure I'm scared. Good? So you're here to talk to somebody about what? Uh, a cement work. Jose, well, he's not here, though. You think that's normal at 2 o'clock in the morning to meet uh, somebody yeah, to talk about work? Yeah, because that's the only time I can get a hold of him. He works graveyard, so, you know, and his day's off, so that's the time that he's up and stuff, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no drugs in the truck? No, sir. Uh-uh. There's nothing. I don't do drugs. So this is your truck? Uh, uh, it's registered my mom's name, but I'm the driver. I'm on the insurance of the driver. Do me a favor. Come on out of the car. Keep your hands out of your pockets, all right? Come back to the police car. Put the bottle down. Yes, sir. Stand right in front of my car right yes, there. Yes, sir. Chan you got anything illegal on you? No, no. Turn and face the car? Yes, sir. Nothing illegal on you? No. You mind if I... Yes, sir. Go ahead. You can check. You mean me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not yeah, going to check. check anybody else here. Yeah, check. Okay, you're extremely nervous, all right? Oh, well, I'm scared. I haven't been pulled over like this before. You're not pulled over, sir. You're simply sitting in a parking lot. Okay. There's a, nothing but high crime in this area, okay? I'll okay. be straight honest with you. I... So it seems really weird to me. That you're out here. Saying it's the only time you can get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, Why can't you get them to hold them some other time of the day, like a normal time. hour? Like a normal hour. What's a nor you know normal hour, like daytime? Mm -hmm. Why can't you get a hold of them at a normal hour? He works graveyard. Huh? He works graveyard. Do you have inserts? Or no, I just got caught now for the president. I'm really bad. That's all. <laughs> yeah. You don't have anything up hiding no, up uh -huh. there? You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. You lift your lip up like this? Uh -huh. I swear you got something up there, man. You're making all these movements with your mouth. Nothing, huh? No. Are you lying? No. I, I just told you. I just showed you that. I have nothing. I have nothing to hide, Joe. Move your fingers out of the way. Uh, nice try, man. Turn and face the car. Turn and face the car. Nice try. Don't move. You understand? I'm going to hurt you if you don't. If you try resisting me. He's got it in his mouth. Open your mouth. He's, Open your mouth. Do not resist, sir. Do not resist. Open your mouth. Put your hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back. Someone go to Taser if they have to. He's, Stop. We got him. Stop. You are going to get tased, sir. Sir, you're going to get tased right now. <gasps> go to the... Okay. Kill, kill, kill. You stop resisting Spit right now. Stop Spit resisting. It Spit it out. <laughs> Spit it out. Got him. Ah, Got it. Does that hurt? You better stop it. Stop resisting now. Stop. Stop resisting. I can't breathe. I can't stop breathe. It. Stop resisting, sir. It's only going to get worse if you do not stop. I can't breathe. I'm going to taser. Go to taser. You're going to get tased right now. You make one false move, I will tase you. Yep. You, you understand. Ground. Okay. Okay, okay. you're under arrest for destruction of evidence, too, just so you know. Oh, is he in custody? No. Yes, he's under arrest. You need to stop. I will okay. Stop resisting, sir. Okay. It's right here. Got it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you got anything in there, sir? No. What are you doing in your pocket? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing. <laughs> uh, calm down. I gotta calm call down. my dad. I, when do I get a call? You need to calm down, okay? I gotta call him. How old are you? 40, man. Okay. Do you have anything else in your mouth? No. Hold on. I don't know. He's got well, we're not okay. checked. Yeah. I don't know. What'd you just spit? Nothing. I don't know. You spit again? He just no, spit over I, here. I don't know what to say. Sir, calm down. Okay? You got me shaking. I'm not doing anything to you, sir. You need to calm down, okay? You're... Okay. Open your mouth. Okay, I see it. Spit it out of my car. You got a crock cocaine, it's going to kill you if you swallow it. You need to spit it out. Okay, I got right there. I, I, I Sir, want, that's, that's, listen to me. I don't Sir, know. Listen I don't know. Am I going to die? Listen. How much did you buy? Uh, 30. 30 rocks? Uh -huh. All right, I had him in front of the car, mm -hmm. and I was just simply interviewing him, talking to him. I'm about to let him go. I'm this close to let him go. And I'm like, Sir, what's in your mouth? And he said, Nothing. I already showed you. I said, Well, show me again. And when he showed me, he put his fingers inside of his mouth like this, and was holding, I could see something white between his fingers. Okay. And it wasn't his gum line. Nice. And then right there, I went, I went to, he said, you're under arrest. I immediately knew that he had something in his mouth. Right. He's trying to conceal from me. At that point, I just picked him up, put him on the hood of the car. Okay. You guys came over, we got him into custody after a little struggle. Yeah, because we were looking in the truck, so I didn't see how that went down. So I just wanted to make sure. No problem. Cool. Good, good job, man. Good job. We're going to find more drugs in the car? Did you throw some no, down? No. Because you're reaching around. Yeah, there was Remember no when way. I walked all up to the car, you opened the door and tried to distract I me? I put it in my mouth to kind of bear there. That's all. I'm just problem. testing this. Yeah, I see the last four when we get it. I'm telling we'll start the, the paperwork on him. I'm not going nowhere. We're testing this uh, 
suspected cocaine and see if it turned blue and it turned blue. I apologize. It's okay. It's okay. You didn't fight us. You were close to fighting us, okay? Okay. I've been arrested. I know. We, you, when I first stopped you, you said you are down here picking up somebody from cement, and you and I both know that's not true, okay? And we find out you got something in your mouth. Listen to me. You yes, find sir. out you got yes. something in your mouth, okay? And then to find out later you got a drug problem, okay? You need to tell the truth, and then you don't need to fight with the police. You okay. understand that? Yes, sir. Fighting with the police is a bad thing. Yeah, it okay? is. Okay? Hopefully you learn something from this tonight. Yes, and I Hopefully did. you stop taking drugs, all right? Yes. Don't be coming down here to buy any more drugs, okay? Absolutely. We don't tolerate that downtown. Okay. I've always enjoyed self-initiated activity. You know, there's calls that I go on that I enjoy, but by and by, I take most satisfaction out of being able to take the initiative of my own to dig something up and make a good arrest. It's, it's just a lot more satisfying to go out there and, and find something on your own and uh, create something that a lot of times turns into you know, a good arrest or solving some kind of problem that the community's having. Uh, this green minivan up here uh, has got a piece of paper in the window that says stolen plate. However, there is a plate on the back. Ran the license plate, does come back to a warrant. We're gonna stop it. Stay in the car. What's up, man? Alan, the reason we got you stopped, you got a warrant, comes back on your plate. I'm not, I don't have warrants. Okay, who's that with you? My Uncle Gene. Say what? My Uncle Gene. Your Uncle Gene? You got a driver's license? Yes, I do. Where are you guys coming from? Hey, stop. Come on out. Can't look up the car. Oh my God, here's my license. So I brought it over here, just put your feet out. Anything I'll do is gonna stick cut above me. Back against the car. Oh back? Yeah. Got it. Come back here, man. Move over. The reason you stopped you is you got a license we ran a license. Because we saw your little stolen tag thing in there, which made me wonder why you have an actual license on the... I I'm talking. It's... You have a license plate on there, but you had a stolen uh, license plate sticker on your window. Ran the tag, comes back to a warrant. Okay? Now where we're at is I walk up and I see this. In a Huggies uh, baby wipe container that he hands me. You know anything about this? No, sir. It's not my van. How about you? So who's this? The babies? No, it's my sister's van. What are you I really don't know. I don't, I don't you around. smoke meth? No, sir. Sir? No. Your sister does? No, my sister does not smoke meth. So how'd this get in a baby white box? I really have no idea. All right, of course not. You got any warrants? No, sir. All right. I'm good, so. Okay, you want paper or anything? Oh, man, this is ridiculous. What the hell is going on? What do you mean, what's going on? I just told you what's going on. You ever I'm been arrested for a felony? Never. How about you, sir? Yes. Aggravated battery in Leavenworth back in 2003. Nothing since then. I don't, I don't play, man. It's just child it's support. Right. Is your license child valid? Support. Yes, sir. Right. I'm, I'm trying my best to stay straight, and I just keep running into walls. You know what I'm saying? This is crap. So you're the wrong place, wrong time, pretty much? Every day. I mean, child support, child support, child support, wrong taste. Wrong place, wrong time. I just had to call up there. I called. I thought I had court today. But can you blame me though? I walked I out court for, for a violation and a, and a warrant to a tag, and I see meth and right by his feet. The same. The same. Can you blame me? He's got a warrant out of Plattsburgh for felony assault, DV assault. You know what that's all about? Uh, no, I don't. I couldn't have a warrant because I, I was released from there into Jackson County's custody. Okay. Well, you've got it in the system. It's under the state and the national entry on it. What? Yeah. Oh my. You probably got picked up on it, talked to the detectives, and they walked it over and got a warrant issue for you. Came back on you, man. Sometimes that it is, takes time. That is, you want to toss a car? You want me to? Uh, I was never, okay. I was never given a warrant. Where'd you find that? There's a little, a yellow plastic container of baby wipes, like uh, for the bottoms. And that was sticking out of the top. It was sticking out of there, and I said, you know, what's in the baggies? And then he pulls it out, and there's meth there. In the council, oh there's a bunch God. of extra plastic bags for no reason, sandwich bags. Uh, he pulled them up. I didn't see anything in there. Hey, but can I call that's my just sister? all in plain view. We'll, the rest we'll deal of it, with that in a minute. I have no idea. Can all I right, call then. my sister right now? Why don't we, right now? Why don't, why don't we have a seat on the curb, man? I didn't. Oh, man, it's hot. Sit down. I got you. This is ridiculous, man. Come on, sir. You too. But you didn't know that was in the van? I didn't. You didn't oh, notice man. all those plastic bags? That, that van's always trashed. Is it? I didn't. You do drugs? No, no, sir. You ever done drugs? Yeah, I have. When's the last time? Oh, shoot. Maybe six years ago. Good for you. It's been clean ever since? I don't drink either, so I'm proud of myself. Well, I'm, I'm glad. That's good for you. 
Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Okay, stand up, guys. No, oh, man. That's all that he has. Come on. Look, I got you, man. We're going to load you guys up in the wagon. Let me make sure you can't. Let's go around that way, Stomp. All right, let me double lock him real quick. Hey, have you searched him since, got, since we found that warrant? Let me check that cigarette oh, pack okay. real quick for you, bud. Spread your feet Make out. sure that's all it is, the cigarettes. That's all it is. You got nothing else on you? No. How about your shoes? Uh, I ain't got nothing. You can take them off and check them if you want. Okay, he'll, he'll be doing that in a second. Okay. That's mine. Is that, what is that? This Matt? is sitting back there, yeah. This, this is that guy's. No, this is Harold. That's mine. This is his. No, that ain't mine. I got a brown. This is sitting right in here. Oh, there you go. Whoa. Is this your wallet? Yeah, relax. Uh-oh. That's my uncle, though, man. Yeah, that's my wallet. Yeah, I don't know if this is cocaine or if it's... Is it fake? Is it real or fake, man? I don't know, dude. Come on, it's your wallet. Just tell if it's real or fake. Because I'm going to test it. No, I'll admit it. It's my wallet. Well, it's your wallet. It's behind your Social Security card, I mean. So... I ain't lying about the wallet. Boy, you are living by that shirt, aren't you? Oh, yeah, man. And both times you're telling us the stuff in my wallet behind my Social Security card is not mine. The stuff that's at my feet is not mine. That's not mine. This is in your wallet behind your social security card. Well, it is mine. Well, but this you isn't. Don't know how they got it in no, I don't. Okay. Well, that's just a little bit uh, far-fetched. So. Did you learn anything today, Harold? Yeah. Tell me what you learned. I learned <laughs> keep an eye on my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so Harold, enlighten me and tell me why somebody would deem it necessary to put some narcotics in your wallet. I don't know. That's is it your birthday enemies. or something? No. Somebody give you an early birthday yeah. present? Yeah. Nope. That's what I'm more starting to Somebody wonder. setting you up? That's what I'm starting to wonder. All right, you're going to go on a 24-hour hold, right? Right. means you're going to be arrested for it, but not necessarily charged. You're going to speak right. to the detective, but this is a whole new matter. Okay. You're going to have to try and convince the detective that you didn't know there was narcotics behind your Social Security card in your wallet. All right? We got it. We're en route to uh, back our SCAT team. Uh, one of their informants has given them some information, reference uh, some dope that one of the local... Uh, gang members uh, has, so we'll go over there and see if we can help out. They've asked for some assistance. We'll walk down the corner. It's right on the corner. Hey guys, what do you got? And uh, We got a a subject. He's on uh, parole. So we got information that he's uh, selling methamphetamines out of his house. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to sneak up on on this side, you know, come in off the street and uh, contact him. You know, like I said, he's on parole, so we're good to search his house. I've already contacted uh, Agent King. You know, he's good to go for the search. So okay. we're going to go good. see if we can contact him and uh, see if we can locate the, locate the meth on him. Where do we need him? What's going on there? You know, I'll stay lethal cover because they got tasers. Get one in the backyard. 20's in route to Cation Wilson. Hey guys, somebody just came over the gate westbound. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Right now. Separate your feet before I slam you to the ground. All right, all right. Sure. Get that hand back. Oh, Hey. Knock it off. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. I'm gonna have you roll over on your stomach. Look at me. Look, I'm going. To. Take a deep breath. Roll over on your okay. stomach on three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Get that hand back. Get that hand back. Get that hand back. Oh. 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 Get your breath and roll over on your butt. Sit. The, sit down. Sir. Sit down. Oh, What'd you dump on me? I don't know, sir. Why are you getting all froggy when my partners are telling you to put your hands up? Keep them away from your what waistband. I am done with sir. You on parole, aren't you? When the police tell you to do something, you got to do it, man. The first time. Why are you all sweaty and stuff? Oh, because you guys rest me down. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna oh. give you the chance, okay, to tell me where the dope is. So I can just go get it. Now you can go to jail, okay, and your family gets to stay here and do their thing, There's okay? nothing in there, sir. Listen, if I have to go in there and I have to search that whole house and tear everything apart... There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there? You sure? Yeah. Okay. What's up? Uh, what's up? You guys coming over here, though? You're on parole. I don't need a reason. Yeah, but why, though? What did I do? You're on parole. What did I just tell you? What's what that right there? Stop. 
Stop. Put it back down. Oh, there we go. Looky there. Oh, by the way, you're under arrest. Oh. We got it. Here he is, on top of the pool. What's that? That's why I'm sweating. What's that, Philip? That's what he was reaching for. He's trying to get rid of it. Clark. Put one leg in. Lean forward. Oh, oh. What's wrong, Tweety? Well, then, uh, go uh, next time. Uh, huh? You got any more dope on you? Spread your feet. Spread your feet nice and wide. Wider. Spread your feet. Come on. Spread them. Philip, how long have I known you? Don't, don't do that. Huh? How long have I known you? Years? I've been watching you. You think this is just a, a brand new thing? Where I just came to your house today and, and decided to go through your stuff? I don't think so. Get in the car. All right. It just amazes me that half your boys are in jail right now for the same stuff. Have you? Said it just amazes me how how your boys are uh, in jail for the same stuff. This is what we found on your husband. He's on parole. He's doing this with the kids. What's going on? Go ahead. You got scales in the house. He's on parole. We've arrested the kids. We got dope on him tonight. In the front yard, he dumped on us. Are you angry with him? What? How many years have we been doing this? Huh? It's a routine, right? That's what you guys have always told me. How many years? That's what you guys have always said. You guys always have said. Then break, then break the routine. I'm getting tired of it. Break the routine, then. That's all we're asking. These kids have no future like this. It's all we're asking you is break the routine, okay? You're the only first, you're the first officer that has ever said that to you. Lady, you need to get your priorities straight. When he came back here, he um. He's on parole, and uh, he, jumped up. he wrapped up a, looks like a stolen gun here. Ooh, it's a big old. So we're going to fingerprint it. He can't be on parole and possess any type of uh, weapons like that, so. With his priors, he'll probably get life. I think this is the, his third strike. We're going to go confront him. My partner, uh, Detective Vigil, just found this gun, so... We hit him up and asked him about this gun. You got it? Yeah. We got your gun. Whose is it? Who is it? I don't know. You tell me. It's your house. You were in the backyard. Keeps on getting worse, man. You want to work with us or no? Crime area related to drugs and gangs. Uh, try to pay uh, extra attention to this area in efforts to uh, reduce these problems. Uh, car just left this house. A, a search warrant was served in a house related to drugs. It looks like a car just left the uh, house. Let me see if I can get you up to it. They just make a quick left. They just pulled up into a driveway. Let's see if I can check it out. How you doing? I'm not Rosie. You're not Rosie? Nope. What's your name? It's Ruby. Ruby? Yeah. Okay, Ruby. Let's go talk over there. Mm -mm. You have an ID with you? You don't? Mm -mm. Okay, put your hands behind your back, Rosie. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, I'm inside the... Stop. Why are you doing Stop. That? Let me go. Let me go. Stop. Why are you doing Stop. that? Why are you doing Stop. that? Why? Stop. Why? You haven't even identified my, me and you're already doing this? Stop. Hmm? 251. 11, 11, one combative. Let me go. Let me free? go. Stay down. No, I don't want to get free. I want you to leave me alone. Why are you doing that? Stay, Stay down. No. Stay down. No, because you haven't identified me. You're doing that. 
Why are you doing this? Let me go. Stay down. Why? Some tweak in your pocket or something? No, that. I got mine. What you got there? I'm gonna get pulling my pants down too now. Just trying to get rid of some. No, I'm not. I was trying to get rid of you. Obviously, you fell. Well, obviously, so am I. Come on, Rosie, just relax, okay? Go ahead and check that car, bro. Somebody won in the back, too. Oh. You're a tough girl, let me tell you that. I try to be. You didn't take advantage of it, that's why. Have a seat. All the men do. People are... There she is, brother. That's, that's where I go, right there. Transportation for sales in a possession of uh, methamphetamine. You okay? Yes, sir. What happened? Uh, through all the shift, I was uh, looking at this house, the Cedar. Uh, I've been to the house plenty of times for H&S activity. I knew there was a wanted uh, female out of that house. Not that lives there, but frequents the house a lot. And then uh, I figured, okay, well, I guess I got nothing. Turn my spotlight off. I kept driving and a female comes out and I just happened to turn it back on, put it around her face and I ID her as one of the, uh, That's what one of the to do Frank. So I, I stopped, I get out of the car and she didn't know what to do. You know, and then uh, I didn't put myself out here because I wanted to beat her before she went in the back. Right. And I was like, hey Rosie, how you doing? And she just stood quiet. Aren't you Rosie? She's like, uh, no, you right. You got the wrong person. She tried to walk away. Well, let me see somebody that you get, you know, come on here and right. fight zone, so. Okay, uh, you're not hurt? Oh, no, not at all, sir. Okay. Hey, Rosie, that's you, right? Isn't that you right there? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. How come you didn't tell me who you were? I talked to you many times. Yeah, but you didn't even give me a chance to tell you who I was. You asked me, are you Rosie? I said, no. What's your name? Ruby? Is it and Ruby? And then right away you grabbed me, right? Is it Ruby? I said Ruby. I is it Ruby? Oh, I said Ruby, no. Then you lied to me. Yeah. I, I knew who you were. Okay, but you didn't, you were making Why sure. did everybody call you when I was doing the investigation with your brother? Rosie. What? Right? Thank you. That's what I thought. I thought I needed. Can I have some paper, please? We don't have any. Sorry. Who's the driver? A friend. A friend? You know his name? He said it was Richard. Richard what? I've been well, looking for him, too. How come you haven't gotten him? Huh? I haven't found him yet. Yeah? Oh, wow. Well. That's what I'm here well, for. Well, his sister's over there now in jail. Yeah, yeah, I know where she's at. I know she's a big liar. I understand that. Thank you. And you're not, huh? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? All right. Hey, can I get some paper for real it, we, we got, we, we, hands, we, I'm not kidding. Okay, we gotta take we gotta take care of that at the station. We're gonna wash our hands, and we don't want to take care of that right here in the car. But we'll we'll, no, we'll take care. Of it. Okay, we'll we'll take care of it when we get to the station. Don't worry. Yeah, put in my car too, huh? She was a hell of a fighter. I gotta give you that. I know she's gonna go to jail for a long time on this one. Uh, I've been a cop for almost three years now. I love being outdoors. I love being having something different every day. Uh, this isn't a desk job. This isn't something you go and do the same thing every day. It's, everything's different. You get to interact with a lot of people and uh, make a difference in, uh, in people's lives. Just ran this plate on this car and it's coming back as a stolen car. And uh, it's in front of this business over here. I think there's a female driving it. Driver, step out of the car. Let me see your hands. Keep your hands where I can see them. Step out of the car. 
Step back to my bumper. Turn around. Stop right there. Put your hands up. Drop what you have in your hands. Step back to my car. Stop right there. Go down on your knees. Who are you waiting for? Where's your girlfriend at? Cross your ankles. Put your hands behind your back. What's your girlfriend wearing? Stand up for me. Come stack back here for me, okay? Step right here. Do you have weapons on you? No. Any needles? No. Do you shoot up? No. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one we appointed before questioning. Do you understand your rights? I do. Okay. So who says you stole their car? I believe, I'm trying to think of his name. I met him yesterday. You met him yesterday? I did. Bart. Bart? Bart. So you stole Bart's car? Or he says you stole his car? Right. Why did he say you It was a fair exchange. It was a fair exchange? What was it for? How, many, how much drugs did you give him? Um, 40. You gave him 40? Yeah. Crack? Where, where, where did you meet Bart? I'm on Flamingo. Flamingo on what? Harmon or what? Uh, Harmon between Paradise and Cobalt. And that was like yesterday? Mm-hmm. What time did you take the car yesterday? Nine o'clock. So you agreed to give him $40 worth of crack? And he was going to no, let you borrow the car or what? I mean, basically, I mean, we had been hanging out for a little bit right. and we had become friends. So it's a rock yeah. runner, right? That's what? It's a rock runner, right? What does that mean? It means you give him dope and he lets you borrow his car. No. No? Like we, like we were going to hang out. Okay. And he didn't want to give me some money, so that's, I mean, that's what he said he would do. So why didn't you give him back his car? It wasn't that I didn't give it back. He said that I could drive it. For how long? Well, at first, the agreement was 15 minutes. Okay. And then I told him, I said, but I've been here for a couple of hours. Where? And you haven't had a chance. Okay. Where's your crack pipe? In the seat. It's in the seat? Uh-huh. Where is it? It's in the door panel right here, right down there. It could be a crack pipe. They use it to smoke uh, crack cocaine. Got a little baggie in here too. Looks like it's already been opened up and they've already used, so can't have that. She said she was gonna have a crack pipe in, in the front seat. A little piece of Brillo. They use that to, to filter. How much are you spending on drugs right now? I couldn't even tell you. I spend like at least five hundred a day. Five hundred a day on drugs? Just crack or what? You ever try heroin or meth or not? I tried meth, but I I stopped doing drugs for three and a half years and then I started doing Math and I went to rehab last year in February, and then I started again. I've got a lot of family problems, so. How come you don't get rid of the prostitution and all the drugs and, and kick all this and, and become a contributing member to society? I can't. Why not? I don't know. What's up, Bart? Come over here and talk to me. All right, Bart. I'm Officer Johnson with Metro. Okay. Then when you talk to her on the phone. Okay. Do you know the girl that's in front of my car? Uh, yep, I picked her up last night. Okay. Whatever you, t oh, whatever you talk to me about, okay? I'm not going to use it to prosecute you or anything like that, okay? However, I do need the full, complete story. I know. And I took her back to my place. We were, we were um, partying, you know, drinking and stuff. And I didn't want to go anywhere. She wanted to go get some more stuff. And I was, I was like, no, I ain't going. She said, well, give me your keys and I'll be right back. And then the next morning, and then my roommate's going like, you can't really tell the police that, that you gave her the keys because then they're not going to put her stolen report out in the car. They're not going to find it. And you'll never get your car back. So it worried me. So I said, so I told, so I told you guys that she had took the keys out of my pants car. So I don't. What, what was she going to go get when she took the car? Was she going to get crack? Yeah. Okay. How much was the agreement for? Forty dollars. Forty dollars worth of crack. Okay. And how long was she going to use the car for? It was only supposed to be there in back twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. So she was supposed to use the car, and then what was this, was her second agreement? Yeah. Okay, so she went to get the drugs, and she never brought it back at all? Right. At what point did you decide, hey, I better call the police and let her know like, my car's gone? I think it was like 9 or 10 in the morning. This morning? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let me come over here. I'll talk to you guys together.
Bart? Sarah? Sarah Bart. You guys know each other, right? Any part, any part of his story that you heard that didn't jive? No? So when was the last contact you had with Bart? Last night at 9 o'clock when I left. He'll get more drugs. And he just never came back. Crack's a horrible thing. There's no justification in any of it. And we both knew the choice that we made. No argument in that. We I both knew. I don't want to see anybody get in trouble for my lying. You know, me lying, saying that she stole my keys. All right. Okay. I wouldn't want that on my head, you know. All right. I appreciate your honesty as well, Bart, okay? All right. Well, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to release the car to Bart, all right? He doesn't want any charges pressed on you, okay? So I'm not going to take you in for the felony. Possession of a stolen vehicle is a felony in the state of Nevada, okay? And, and because of your honesty, I'm not going to take you to jail for the pipe, okay? However, I will cite you for the pipe, all right? I think that's a fair compromise. Absolutely. Okay, so I'll cite you for the pipe, and I'll release you here today. You have to show up for court, all right? If you don't show up for court, the warrant's going to be issued for your arrest, okay? Thank you. I've been working here for a little over 17 years. My uh, father was actually a, a police officer here in Pomona. He retired several years ago. And there's quite a few sons working here where uh, their fathers worked here at one time. And I get to work with uh, some of the guys my uh, father used to work with. I'm going to be out with uh, an unoccupied stolen. Uh, plate's going to be 518. That's uh, on a Cadillac. And it's parked at the uh, motel, so we're going to keep an eye on it for a while. Yeah, it should be on a brown Cadillac development. A lot of times, just set on something. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. All we can do is uh, sit here and see if he takes off. Uh, Leonard's got the other side. Okay, uh, Leonard just told me uh, in my earpiece. The car left out the uh, west side and it's going uh, westbound on Fairplex. Everyone, we're uh, going westbound on the 10 freeway. Copy, going westbound on the 10 freeway from Fairplex. He uh, hopped on the freeway. 71 at 31 on northbound 71 at the interchange. X ray 16 is with him. X ray 16 with Adam 31. Okay. I guess the vehicle left and went westbound. So I hopped on the freeway. And we're following him now. I don't know why he's... Yeah, we're 10 at uh, Kellogg Drive. It's going 50 miles an hour. We're 10 at Kellogg Drive. All right, I'm going to light him up. Looks like they're pulling over. So... I couldn't really see the occupant, but uh, it looked like it might have been a female. So we got behind you guys, I'll do the traffic break. 32, copy, doing the traffic break. 914 RCHP. Can you tell her again? Hey, driver! Oh, she tossed him out this window. Good. Driver, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Step out. Step out. Get out of the vehicle now. Let me see your hands. Go ahead and put your hands up in the air. No, stop. Look at me. Turn around. Put your hands up in the air. Walk towards it. Walk towards the vehicle. Hands up in the air. Keep coming. Stop. Now, side step to your left. Side step to your left. There you go. Walk forward. Go ahead, Barnum. You're clear. Turn around. Turn around. Stop right there. Get on your knees. Your hands up. Get on your knees. Put your hands on top of your head. Can you just set her down right there for so we can talk to her when we're done clearing the car? That's good enough. She won't be able to move. Approach. Go ahead. I'll watch her. How are you? You all right? What is your name? Sergio. Sergio? Where did the car come from, Sergio? 
I bought it in San Diego. You bought it down in San Diego? How much did you pay for the car? $350. 350 bucks? I bought it in San Diego. Really? It looks pretty nice. When was it that you bought the car? Um, it's been about four months, five months. Four or five months ago? Look at me, Sergio. Why was this car stolen out of Ontario like uh, eight days ago? Uh, huh? Because some guy thinks I stole it. I sold it to him. Some guy wanted me to sell it to him, and I, I guess he got my paperwork. Oh. So it's a big misunderstanding then, and that's all it is? Did you ever register the car in your name? No. But if he has the paperwork, I mean, you'll see on there that it's in my name. How old are you? 24. 24 years old? He said uh, he's owned the car for four or five months, but... Uh, Sounds best, right? Yeah, that's his ID. Sergio from San Diego. Yeah, he said he was from San Diego, and he's headed over to El Monte right now. And who did he buy the car from? friend's house. Uh, I don't know. He, he didn't say who he bought it from, but he said he bought it down in San Diego four to five months ago, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I think it's been... Uh, it was stolen about eight days ago. Okay. Very good. Hey, Sergio, are you on parole? Yes. What are you on parole for? For burglary. Say again? Burglary. Okay. Who's your uh, parole agent? Miss Cooper. Out of where? San Diego? San Diego. Are you uh, absconding? No. Oh, you, she said that. Sort of. You are sort of no, absconding? I'm not. I'm not. She was, she was out sick for two months. And while she was out sick, I didn't know who the officer taking so the So you failed to uh, report them? Yeah, but she said, I'm not. Okay, you know you have a warrant for your arrest for that? No. Okay. You're going to be arrested for that and as well as uh, auto theft. Okay. All right, you understand? Yes. Do you prostitute at all? No, I don't. Nothing, huh? You just uh, dress like a woman? For what reason? Hobby. Just a hobby of yours? Do you dress like a man sometimes? Is that a wig that you're wearing? No, it's your real hair? So how do you do your hair when you uh, dress like a man? Braids. In braids? Very good. So you're like 100% man, though? For or the woman, whatever. Huh? You're on parole for burglary, and that's theft, and now here you are 